Hey mama, as you approach your baby's arrival, you'll likely be very tuned into your body and every unusual sensation makes you wonder, is this labor? And this is a big question on most first time mama's minds and not having the answer can sometimes be frustrating. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the one thing that will tell you whether or not labor is starting for certain. I'm Bridget and I'm a birth doula and childbirth educator in the San Francisco Bay Area and I love empowering mamas through informing them on how they are built to birth their babies. If you're new here and are looking to stay empowered, informed, and encouraged make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. It's easy to become obsessed with trying to read your body and know whether labor is on its way, but it can also be really overwhelming and exhaustive. So by the end of this video, you're going to know the number one thing that will tell you if labor is starting. So you can stop obsessing over labor and patiently enjoy the last bit of prep time before your baby's arrival. So as you get closer to birth, there are several symptoms that will nudge your attention towards the birth of your baby. One symptom that labor is beginning is losing your mucus plug, which is a thick, gooey, milky white or opaque discharge that is kept in the cervix to protect the uterus and your baby from bacteria from entering it. So the mucus plug is often lost as women's bodies are preparing for labor, but can also be lost in bits and pieces during pregnancy and then actually regrow itself. So while this is sometimes a sign that labor is just around the corner or that labor has started, it's not necessarily the sign that means you are or will be in labor soon. The second sign that points to labor beginning is feeling crampy or nauseous. Oftentimes, mamas describe the early part of their labor feeling period-like cramping, sometimes paired with nausea. This crampy stomach ache, period pain-like feeling is your body doing internal work to prepare you and your baby for labor. Sometimes with all the changes happening on the inside, you feel nauseous or have less appetite than usual. These labor symptoms are often the first signs that mamas experience that really start them getting focused on their approaching labor. With that in mind, however, these sensations do not necessarily mean that you are in labor. It can mean that you're in labor, or it might simply mean that your body is just doing all the prep work for labor before it actually begins, which is still a really great sign and a good place to be in in terms of progress. A third sign you might notice when you're pooping before labor is loose stools or even diarrhea, which is caused because a surge of hormone called prostaglandins are released, causing your digestive tract to clear all the waste inside to make more room for baby as they descend. Now these loose stools can also come along with an upset stomach or cramps, as I mentioned before, as one of the signs of labor starting. And again, this is simply a possible sign that labor starting not necessarily something that should take you to the hospital or wherever you're giving birth unless the diarrhea is excessive and you're starting to get dehydrated. If that's the case and you're having really bad diarrhea, it's less likely that it's a sign that labor is approaching quickly and probably more of a sign that you have a stomach bug or an upset stomach. But most of the time, frequent soft bowel movements at the end of your pregnancy can mean that your body is making progress towards the birth of your baby. The fourth sign is leaking amniotic fluid or even a full rupture of the membranes that results in a gush of amniotic fluid. Now this is a likely sign that your labor will start very soon, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are in labor now. If your water starts leaking or if it breaks before labor has set in, it's considered a premature rupture of membranes or PROM. And I've created a whole video on what you should look for if this happens and the decisions that you can make in the event of your water releasing before contractions begin. I'll link it right up here for you to check out after this video. Now your water releasing can be a pre-labor sign or it can be a for sure sign that labor has kicked into gear and you are on the straight path to meeting your baby but it depends on that one thing, which brings us to the number one surefire positive sign that labor is truly starting, and that is contractions. So the fifth and most telling sign is your surges. Now you might already be having some surges that make you wonder if you're starting labor, but when you're experiencing progressing contractions, 
this is a reliable sign that labor is indeed starting. Now, early on, you may have been experiencing contractions that would sometimes be intense, other times not so much. They would be really quick ones or a minute long that would happen 20 minutes apart or even five minutes apart, but not super intense or powerful. So these would be considered non-progressing contractions, and even those aren't a reliable way to show whether or not labor has begun. These kinds of contractions often happen during pre-labor, which can last several days or just a few hours. To know if labor is truly starting, your surges will progress to become longer, more frequent, and stronger than they were when they began. So whether your surges were coming every 20 minutes or five minutes and were lasting for a minute long or 30 seconds at the beginning, the biggest sign to look for in your own unique labor is that those surges are becoming more powerful and requiring you to put more mental energy into focusing and managing the sensations. Now, if you're wondering what those sensations are like, I have a video describing what contractions feel like from the earlier, less intense ones to the later, more powerful surges that come as you get closer to birth. So check out that video right up here that I'm linking after you're done with this video. So all these signs, one through four, that we talked about are possible signs that labor is starting, but paired with the progressing contractions become very reliable signs that things are heading toward birth. In my experience, it's sort of better ignoring those first signs that might come like losing your mucus plug, cramping, nausea, and frequent soft bowel movements that point to the possibility that labor is approaching because sometimes it just becomes overwhelming if those surges don't accompany those things as early as you expect them to. Plus, the longer you can distract yourself from labor, the shorter it seems. So during that early part of labor, it's often a good idea to carry on with your normal day as much as you can while while also trying to get a little extra rest or even a nap if possible. Now, the only sign that you would definitely want to pay attention to is your water releasing, whether it's a leak or a gush. That's something you'll want to let your care provider know as soon as possible so that you can work together to make the best and safest choices for your birth and your baby. So mamas, that's what you need to know when you're asking yourself or finding yourself obsessing over the question, is this labor? Waiting for the arrival of your baby is such an exciting and joyful time and your patience as you navigate through these late third trimester pregnancy symptoms is the best thing that you can give your baby as they are making those last but very important developments that they need to fully thrive outside the womb. I hope this video has answered one of the many questions that pregnancy, birth, and postpartum brings, but if you have more, please comment them down below or send me a direct message on Instagram at built to birth so that I can make more videos answering your specific questions. Thanks for being with me in this video, Mama, and I will see you in the next one.